Aida Valentin feels she lives in the shadows of Ocala, hidden and in the dark. Nine years ago, she came to the United States from Mexico by crossing the border. She paid coyotes to smuggle her in with hopes of a better lifestyle for her and her family. It is in this Latin American cafe that she works almost every day to sustain her eight children. Four of those kids were born here, so they're citizens. The remaining four, they're undocumented immigrants. Her oldest son of 18 years old just graduated along with 65,000 other undocumented students that graduate from U.S. high schools each year without papers. Like his mother, he enjoys cooking, except he would love to pursue his career of becoming a professional chef in college. But due to the family's financial situation, that is virtually impossible. Every Everyone should be eligible for in-state tuition, be it that you're American or Mexican, be it wherever you're from. You don't stop being human. I don't know. It saddens me a lot because I have so many children. Aida not only worries for her undocumented children, but also for the future of the ones that were born here. Last week, a bill that would have allowed certain U.S.-born children of illegal immigrants pay in-state college tuition did not pass. State Senator Steve Ulrich, who represents North Central Florida, voted against the bill. Calls and messages for the senator were not returned by the time this story was produced. Manny Camps, a Cuban immigrant residing in Ocala, says he agrees with Senator Ulrich, even if it means thinking differently from other immigrants like himself. I just think that if you're going to come to America, just because they, you were born here or they brought you here to be born, does not give you the right to actually um, have all these benefits or have all these privileges that you would have had you been here. Do it legally, and I'm okay with that. Tuition is not the only struggle undocumented students face. Without a legal status, applying to college can also become confusing. A University of Florida organization, Chispas, just launched the campaign Undocumented, Not Uneducated. Club officers say their goal is to negotiate, not demand, from the school's board of trustees. It's a campaign asking the University of Florida to make a policy change on the admission process, especially focusing on undocumented students, allowing them to apply to the university and to have an easier access into the admissions process. UF spokesman says that even if the application process is determined by state law, they'll still take into consideration what students have to say. Gainesville is not the only place attempting change. This week, Homeland Security appointed a public advocate to handle complaints and questions about its immigration enforcement policies. Even then, Aida says efforts like these are not enough and that until matters for immigrants truly get better, her son is returning to Mexico to seek higher education there. Stephanie Bichara, WUFT News.